one, two, three, go. <laughs> We're just gonna do it. All right, one, two, three, action. Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Just kidding. <laughs> HGTV is on a YouTube channel. <laughs> All right, so as promised, we're gonna start answering some questions. So I think let's start off easy. This one's from Luis. When will the front tree be gone? Hey Luis, thanks for your question. Front tree, I don't know, gotta build some guts for that one. It's really tall and it like sways. We took out the two back ones. We, mostly Marshall, but Marcial. Marcial. I call him Marshall, Marcial, Pero, it's Marcial. Um, I think we're gonna have to get a professional for the front tree. Um, Definitely. Your dad wants to do it, but. My dad's not a professional. <laughs> I know, <laughs> but, he, but he wants to do it. But I'm, I'm scared, like, he's like, yeah, I'll climb it and I'll start chopping from it. But I'm like, mm, no, it's literally taller than the house. All right, next one. Do you plan on living at this old casita once it's remodeled? This is from Stephanie. No. It's not in the... Yeah. It's, it's not in the plans. It's not in the plans now. I mean, things happen, you know, but I think for now we hope to... Strictly rental. Strictly rental and start our way up and then, you know, work our way down and hopefully start renting out the ground unit soon. But... Honestly, with the nice finishes, it's gonna be nicer than my house at, once it's done. Um, what's your guys' anticipated finish date? Dun, dun, dun. It's a big mystery. I don't know. June, July, August, <laughs> maybe. I think let's say the let's say the the third floor. Maybe by like. This I is think, the third floor, guys. Yeah, we're in the we're in the. the yeah, um, I think for sure by June. Just depends. We're yeah. waiting on the electrician to finish. Yeah, we're waiting on the electrician, so he has to finish every, up everything before um, the town comes in and inspects, and then we can we start drywalling. We gotta do the final inspection, so we can't start drywalling anything until then. So we gotta wait. Yeah. For the whole building to be done. So that's even the garage. Yeah, even the garage. I did not know that. You live and you learn. Yeah, so we can't start drywalling or anything until the electrician finishes up. And with this whole COVID stuff going on, it's been slower than anticipated. So pray for us. Um, Boyana, do you plan on living here after it's renovated? JK. She knows that we're not moving in, but we're getting that question a lot. Um, literally every day somebody asks if we're, if we're moving in um, so I think this is also an, a good video to, to talk about that um, as I would love to live here it's, um, it's not in the plans right now so stay tuned for the rental and hopefully one of you guys has a good renter in mind for this whole casita so Marco Luna Maria who chose the building the building Building chose us. Building did choose us. It sounds cliche, but it did. Um, we weren't looking. I mean, Marshall's always looking. Marcel is always looking. But um, my grandma lives real, real close to here, like well across the street. And my mom was visiting, and she's like, "Oh, I saw this house. It's for sale. Um, we should check it out. It looks really nice." Um, she's like, viven unos viejitos ahí, and I was like, oh, okay, and then she's like, call the guy, so I called him, like, just, honestly, just to see it, because I was kind of curious, and then he's like, are you available to see it today, and I'm like, yeah, sure, and then I called Marce, and I was like, hey, are you available, like, this afternoon to see it, and you're like, yeah, I'll swing by, let's, let's check it out, and then that's... I mean, after that, we just, like, saw it, we fell in love with it, we saw it was a, it had a lot of history and potential, and then, rest is history, I guess. Anything to add to that? Pretty much nailed it. Nailed it! <laughs> um, Vega Linda, what was your process like from purchasing your building to home remodeling? 
Hard eyes. Maybe I Linda. I'm assuming she's looking for like maybe like a timeline. Maybe. What was your per what was your process like from purchasing your building to home remodeling? So I guess like how we purchased it, how we went about the process. So I'll let you speak to that. So I'm just gonna assume maybe she's trying to say like timeline maybe. Yeah, maybe. So like Linda said, we saw the house, we kinda negotiated for a couple days with the owner. Um it took maybe like three days, right, to negotiate? Yeah. Yeah, three days. Matze went hard at negotiating. Yeah, which, so it took like three days, just back and forth, back and forth, in person, negotiating, which is probably my favorite part, you know, negotiating. Um, staring contests were, were involved here. I was not a part of this as much. I was just like stood back and let Marcel do his thing. He loves negotiating, so... So it was fun. It was a fun experience. <laughs> and then after that, we did get a loan on the house, so it took about 40 days, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It was about 40 days from on the contract to close. And then after that, we pretty much, you know, we bought the house as is. We kind of got it. We kind of sealed the deal because the guy was kind of a hoarder. He had a bunch of stuff here. As you've probably seen the videos. And we kind of just of had to, like, dump that whole stuff. And that, that probably took, like, weeks. Like three weeks and we had all of our friends and family i yeah. mean like all of our friends and family come help i think in total without the books and absolutely no demo of any con type of construction just for mm -hmm. all the junk it was, just it, it was six tons or more six to seven tons yeah it was about yeah yeah six to seven and tons. that's to count for the stuff that people took oh yeah and people were helping us and they took a bunch of stuff yeah there was there was good there was good things here like um so the he lived here on the, no, on the, on the first, first floor, floor. Um, Rob, right? That's yeah, Rob lived in the first floor, and his sister, sister Susan, Susan yeah. lived up here, and this was the better taken care of unit. Um, she is 94. Oh, actually, Vivian. Vivian, Vivian. Yeah. Yeah. Susan yeah. is a mom. Yeah, Susan yeah. is a mom. So we got to meet the whole family, so it was a different process than you yeah. usually deal with. Um, it was a nice, lovely, old Polish family. They've lived here since probably like the 40s, right? When the parents bought the house, like in the 30s or 20s. So, so Vivian is 94. Yeah. And then Rob is like, was like 80 something. At, no, at, Vivian was 96, Rob was 90. Yeah. And then they were brother and sister and each one lived on a separate unit. And their parents had bought the house. I back mean, in, back in, I don't, I don't even know 1900s. when. So, they had this one as a rental unit because they used to live on Ogden and Cosner or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then that area got gentrified, so they moved here, um, and then they had lived here. So I mean, this house had been in their family for for years and years and years. So it was, it was difficult for them to let it go, but I mean, we're so grateful for it. Like, there's so much history here. Um, we got to keep like some really cool pieces that they gave us, and yeah. So it's been it's been nice. Um, so Linda, back to your back to your uh, question, back to the timeline. So that <laughs> took about three weeks, and then shortly after that, we got you know into the demo, which was probably one of my favorite things. Demo time. Demo Maybe. day. It, it hasn't been demo yeah. day. It's been demo, demo weeks, months, and yeah. and then this is where we're at right now. Just pretty much, you know, it was demo time, and then it became HVAC time, and then plumbing time. And then just and now electrical, electrical time, yeah. yeah, and framing, you know, simultaneously, um, stuff here and there, but it's pretty much where we're at. And then I think the next step, you know, is just pretty much, I think the pretty stuff that everybody likes to see, you know, the, you know, the, the hardware, the, painting, the, finishing, the, hardware, the finishing, the lighting, tile, the tile, lighting, yeah. So the that's coming up next. Kitchen, the pretty kitchens. And mm -hmm. So yeah, I think that's where we'll have more of like, you know eye candy as people want to say yeah the hgtv stuff the hgtv stuff because yeah hgtv Check lies out yeah i'm gonna change after this um this is his work attire but i'm comfy yeah i'm gonna change after this because i look like a complete crazy person when i work like bun goggles mask like all of it um okay next, next what's what's been the biggest challenge so far for me, at least, it's probably managing 
other people, the workers especially. Just construction's tough. You got to manage all these people and synchronize just, them and yeah, coordinating everything. Yeah, making sure they're actually going to come here and work. And it's just been tough, you know, in the midst of this pandemic. So um, can't really blame them, you know. But it, it's it's been a challenge. Yeah, and I think I mean I think I think you're being good about it. Like like Marce, he coordinates all of that stuff. Um, so like the electrical guy, he works on his own. He's he comes here like during the week and he works. You know, he is on his own. So there's like no risk of kind of him contracting anything or anything like that. And then we come in the weekends and it's just pretty much yeah. kind of us. And then, you know, so people are kind of like in and out of the house and we're kind of alternating. So that's yeah, been a little challenging. So yeah, that's been, that's it's been doable. challenging, but, but yeah, but doable. I mean, we're still making progress. And all of this guys, it's a learning experience. It's yeah. Experience. That's what you I know, said. It's I was just like, a matter of how you, how you handle things. Just try to have fun. Yeah. I was like, it's our, it's our first gut rehab. And...